Timney. Yeah? And what he says basically is the, you know, the whatever amount is outside. Yeah. You know, typically you want like three or, or yeah. so times as long inside. Probably, yeah. And he says it's only like 1.7 or Oops. something like that. I mean, it's. Yeah. The ratio is not good. Yeah. Um, Too heavy. Falling. You want to put some piers below it? That, that's that's what he said was the basic idea. Yeah. Put one pier at each corner there. Okay. And you can, uh, if you want to look under the house, I'll show you where the cross space is. And then yeah. certainly if you want to look in the living room, you can, it's pretty easy sure. to appreciate the, yeah. the hump is about, that's uh, a couple of feet past the end of the, the whole fireplace area. And it's pretty obvious. Okay. Um, yeah, let's uh, take a real quick peek. I don't know that John's report mm -hmm. would be sufficient. Okay. And that basically what you're asking us to do is, is to put probably two six by six piers on yeah. a probert foundation. Um, one of my questions is do you want a permit pull for this or what? Uh, oh, a permit pull? Um, I'm going to give you A or B option. We can get the city involved and we can all go through a whole lot of problems or option B is I'm going to ask John to come out here. I will pay him to come inspect my work and he will give you a professional engineering report and he's more qualified than anybody at the city. I like B. B I like B too because right. I, you know, John is a good guy. Probably more streamlined and... He is not going to cut corners, I promise you. Okay. And we are not going to cut corners either. Yeah, no, I trust him. <laughs> okay. Um, can I take a peek at that living room? When I come out of here, I'm going to be yeah. dirty. And, yeah, and I will uh, I go, yeah, yeah. like to slip my shoes off yeah. and go inside real quick because when I come out, yeah. I'm going to be covered yeah, yeah. in dirt and mud. Yeah, yeah. And I know that. And I don't want to go in your house like that. Okay. Um, but, but see, the, the essence of the exercise is to make sure Absolutely. that you have a house that you're going to be happy with. Yeah. When we're done, yeah, and that peak will disappear. I hope. I hope so. Sure. <laughs> sure. All right. Thank you so Come much. On, you know, it's got to be this way. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well, that's uh, where's that peak? Now, if it's 1.5, that cantilever that side, uh, probably. Where's it gonna be? It's gonna be underneath that rug, isn't it? You hear that? Found it. Found it. If I had a straight edge, you would see it very easily. It's probably going three quarters of an inch here. I found it right here. I can, let me move. No, that's okay. This will be fine. This will be good. Yeah, I can, uh, I can see it very easily. And uh, yeah, later in the truck. Another way to do that is with light. Holy crap, you can see it. Um, uh, oh my god. If I could ask you to do me a favor, yeah. um, I'd take the lights off if you could. Oh, yeah. And um, I'm not sure if this is going to do what I want it to do. I don't know if I can get it there, what, uh, what you're going to see. Is uh, it's gonna catch, catch the top of that. To see this thing, this light should shoot across the top, and, yeah. and it'll catch. But what what you're gonna find? Uh, 
You see how that guy's rocking right here? Right? And what's happening is the tip of the joist is poking up throughout this hole because this yeah. is a hump right. right here. Right. And I can feel it. So I was thinking the edge is going to be the most sensitive. Yeah. And if I I got the back of this box down the front of it, and that it, it basically is it's like a, a teeter totter, right. right on that point. And here is more accentuated. Uh, but this box is not going to be curved that much. Yeah. Without a level. One thing you should probably know, we, we definitely did things in the wrong order. We, yeah. we, we knew everything, we'd do it a different order, but, yeah. so we knew this hump was there, yeah. and uh, this is way before John ever looked at it, or before I was smart enough to ask John to look, and um, we put this hardwood flooring about two and a half years ago, and the, the hump was there, and the guy who did the floor tried to, um, basically he, he put a little bit of like cardboard and he tried to like shim it out to, to so that the hardwood wouldn't be so, I mean, we should have just fixed the lump first. But um, that might actually complicate it a bit. Um, what kind of floor is it? This band, it's solid bamboo. Okay, so it's perka, roofs. Oh, no, like it's a laminate snap together of some kind. No, I mean it's it's a solid. It's that thick. It's solid wood. He, he side nailed it. Yeah. Okay. So being side nailed, it's not going to be as easy to pull up unless we're just going to disassemble the whole floor, and reassemble the whole floor, and fix it, put it like it should. Yeah. That every piece has got to be pried up. Nails have to be removed. Yeah. Because you know the thing is that we want you to be happy with what you end up with. Right. Well, yeah. And with the shim material here. I don't know what you're going to end up with because I don't know what he used, I don't know how he used it, and I don't know what cardboard might achieve. I, it's my highest hope that he achieved a negligible benefit yeah. so that what happens is if we can, and we got to be crazy careful about doing that, is to take an existing chimney, uh -huh. we'll dig a foot below it, it's roughly a uh, 12, 12 by 16, yeah. and we're going to get eight inches of concrete in it, probably put some rebar around the perimeter. Right. And then um, we're going to slip from underneath a, a six by six pier up on each corner right. and um, apply some plastic right. and try to raise it. Right. At the point where we lower this side and it's right. just kind of doing this now. Yeah. And we want it to do this. Right. And I don't know that we might have a crash on the side. And it might be me that I have my feet here and the cell phone. I say, you know, I'm going to call and tell you we're going to be actively talking about what I feel as they push. Yeah. And I'm hoping they can push it level, just disappear. So I have a nice house here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'd be pretty happy. If it got 100% level, I'd be pleasantly surprised and shocked and amazed. If it just got less than it is now, I'd be pretty happy. Hey, what happened in a friend of mine's house? A really neat guy up in um, American Village that we got up underneath the house and started to pull pull over 30 ton jack. And um, he put in a shim basically because a, uh, a beam wasn't sitting up here. And he raised it, got shim material, got it level every single one of its doors started opening and closing correctly. <laughs> and he was he was about to say, okay guys, the next thing you gotta do is shave off these 18 doors in my house. <laughs> and I swear to you, every single door was like, oh my God, you know, just stick. Right. And um, he said, well, you can fix both of them. So I'm gonna give you a tip. Yeah, so they, as far as all that, I mean, I know exactly how he did it with this.